Welcome to Tassa Springs, our beautiful vanilla city in City Skylines. In the last episode, we rebuilt this forestry area, which is now looking so much better than it was before. Very, very good. It's a little bit more, let's call it important. <laughs> it's like big bombastic, right? We, of course, also built the beginnings of the Few Candy University, which I'm, I, this is probably my favorite build so far in, in, in the city. It's so good. I really enjoyed it. Uh, detailing this up and it seems like you guys enjoyed it as well so thank you for the support on that however in today's episode we are going to turn our attention to this little spot over here now we know that the down downtown is gonna it's gonna be situated on this peninsula in lack of better words i don't think you call it a peninsula in, in this bend in the river where all the tallest skyscrapers are of course going to be here but that's for a later episode today we're going to focus on this little area right here. So what's going to happen here is we're going to put down the theme park. All right. We're going to have a theme park here mixed with some green cities, high density to carry on the the high density that we that we started here. That also means that this metro station actually needs to change. So this needs to go. Uh, this needs to be a ground level metro station because the metro track needs to go underground here. We're also going to redo this, of course, because this was just placed down uh, temporarily in order to get the trains running, but we're not actually going to have a train station here. We're also going to separate it from the inner city train track. So we're, we'll have a double track running. This bridge will just turn in here and then we're going to lower this train track down. So it's level with this, with this road right here. So the first thing we're going to do is remove this now it is not empty so we have to do the vanilla trick of removing a cemetery that isn't empty which is to collapse it um not nice for the sims if anybody had any loved ones buried here we apologize on behalf of the city of tasa springs uh, however they will be relocated at another time we're also going to remove the school unfortunately and we're going to remove this road network here here and we're going to move this, but we'll wait a little bit. <laughs> Look at the students. Look at all the students and a dog who was studying at the school. Very nice. Right. So let's start with pausing the game here again. And we're going to rip all of this out. All right, fine. I, I'll try and remember to put those power lines back in. And that should be good. Now we'll come into our landscaping tools here on the strongest and I think medium one should be good. And let's just level this out first. So both tracks are going to be running here. It is going to give us a little bit of meh uh, landscaping there, but it'll be all right. So to about here and then down here, we'll, we'll grab this and bring it up to the city limit here, which is going to create not the prettiest of edges, but again, We'll fix that once we get once we get to uh, to purchasing this tile. Words, I, I speak English. Let's grab our slope tool here, and I think we can use the smaller brush for this. And we'll right click here at the height, and we'll just slope this up. All right, let's come a little bit closer. We'll slope it up here, just so that the train doesn't have that big, huge drop off. Is that is that okay? I think maybe we can come a little bit further here. Yeah, that should be good. So now let's come into our train tracks and we'll lay these down first. Let's see if we can grab a road guideline. Here should be good. And then let's come off of those again. So just to make sure that it's parallel and running in the in the right spot, basically. And then we can do the same here as close to each other as they will which will be there or should we move them out just a t 
touch. I think we should so that we can possibly put a path in between them, which is a look that I like. Yeah, so that'll be good for now. That doesn't look too bad. I mean, this doesn't look great, but we'll fix that at, at another time. For now, we have a flying train. Hey, whole silver, away! <laughs> this looks crazy, look at that. <laughs> oh man, I wonder what will happen if I hit play. Is it just going to disappear or is it, let's see. Oh my. <laughs> I thought about it, but then it disappeared. All right, that's enough faffing about. Oh, what do you know? The cat ratio banks is on fire. Well, no, actually, it's the nature reserve. Oh, speaking of the nature reserve, I think it was uh, Gargoloth, is, if I'm saying that right, mentioned this, which no, I hadn't noticed. So let's let's fix that real quick. We're going to put a side gate there. What am I looking for in nature reserve? Here we go. Side gate, and these are pretty big, if I remember correctly, aren't they? Uh, park area. That's the big brush. There you go. Mainly so that the Sims will pay to get in, because in Tassa Springs we do like money. And it's the one with man. This is so sad to see. That's a lot of road guidelines. Let's let's turn those off. Actually, let's turn everything off. And free form. So many burnt trees. Is it the the fireplaces that's that's causing this fire? Because if it is, maybe we should, you know, like ban them or something. Not sure, but that's detrimental. Anyways, trains, flying trains, and and automobiles and and whatnot. We'll come into our train train track here, and uh, let's come back to angle, road length, and grid. And we'll go straight first. So we crossed the river. Now let's come to a bit of freeform action here. Will you snap to the angle? Thank you. And actually, maybe we should we should pull this out just a tad more. How's that? Is that better? Yeah, slightly. Possibly detailing time lapse improvements there. But cool. That's the train track, and we'll come into our terraforming here again, and we'll grab. Should we put it up another level? I think we should. But yeah, I'll go through and landscape this up in the uh, in the tiers that we want and, and, you know, all of that. And then we'll be right back after that. All right. And that should about do it. Uh, I also just put this down here, the, the key wall, so, so we know where it's supposed to be. Now we're going to work on putting in a train station up here. All right. So again, we'll jump into the wonderful world of landscaping tools in city skylines and we'll grab the medium brush here and we'll just we'll slope this up again ever so slightly so now let's come to our train tracks we'll pull these up straight without the road guidelines there you go then in here right here we'll have a train station the one i want to place down is this one all right so we'll come into our medium road with decorative grass and we'll grab this node right here, and I think about, yes, this should be enough space. Let's just drag it out for three, and we'll worry about that connection afterwards. And we'll come to our content creator packs, and this is the train station that I want to place down here. And let's leave a little bit of space here, exactly what we're looking for right here. And then we can go ahead and connect these up as well with our train tracks right here. And that should do it. Yes, that will be just fine. Perfect. Yeah, that should do it. That should do it very nicely. Now, let's rework this metro station real quick. And we'll actually move it underground. And I believe that means we need to remove this zoning right here. That's going to disturb that and we will lose some of this detailing underneath but that's okay that will a fly just landed on my microphone <laughs> uh this will will be destroyed by the the metro station as well but we'll we'll replace it at a later time and we'll grab this one on the ground and centralize it to this road that's perfect 
and then it should be fairly simple to connect these two up. However, that one needs to go as well. So let's grab, is that too steep? That is fairly steep, isn't it? Let's not do that. Like so, that should be a little bit better. And then of course we'll grab this metro line here and it's gonna destroy that path, but that's okay. We'll bring it underground. Perfect. We'll draw it in again and it starts over here from the last and exchange, yep, from here to here, and these are very close to each other, but it's okay. They will get enough use, both of them, and we'll complete that line. Last but not least, we'll start thinking about how we want to factor in the tram into all of this, all right? And that should be good. And then we can come down to ground and we can grab this one and put it right there. Fantastic. That should do us very, very well. Let's start working on the entrance to uh, to the theme park, all right, which is going to lie right here. All right, and for the entrance to the actual theme park, I want to factor in the, uh, the tram here. So we'll grab our tram road and we'll start from this corner right here and we'll just, we'll go up by a bit and this is more than we need, all right, but that's okay. So we want to place some park classes here and they're four by four. And then I want three tiles for some pathing and then another park classes. So right about here is where it needs to cut. So let's come back into our roads and I'll, I'll grab a normal row for now. And then we can upgrade them as we go to some better looking roads. And we'll just pull this out a little bit for now. We may need to rework this terrain here a little bit. Let's do that. Let's bring this up to about here. Cool. And we'll worry about getting in the uh, the Green City's high residential at a later time. So four, one, two, three, one, two, three, four. So about here should do it. Let's see. Yes, that should that should be perfect. Let's come into our park plazas here, and we'll grab the city park plaza, and we'll throw it in on each side here, like so, all right. Now we'll come into our theme park and grab the theme park and our amusement park path. And we'll come to our lowest elevation here with the straight, with the straight path. And we'll just come up by one elevation step at, uh, at three tiles. All right. Excuse me four. And then we can pull this out just a little bit for now. Perfect. And then we'll leave one space for a path or for some trees here, and we'll have another park plaza in there. So let's grab this. So let's see one and then one, two, three, four. So right about here, which we'll remove that path, but that's fine. That is not the correct measurement right here. And that should be grand. And we'll grab our park or the uh, city park plaza again and place it on either side of this. And that should give us just a little bit of importance to this theme park, all right? Let's actually remove this and we'll join these up from the other side as well. Uh, that was this far. Come on, you can do it there and then hook these two up. All right, these doesn't necessarily do too much, but the tram stop will be right here. So that will, of course, have an effect. And then we can hook this up like so. And I think right here should be should be grand. Then we can remove this. Then what we can do is hook this into the tram network, which is here. And it will be at a bit of an angle, but it's okay. We can live with that. Then what we can do now is actually grab our entrance to this amusement park. And that should just centralize beautifully right there. And then we get a bunch of stuff that we can that we can place down. So that's that's the entrance, right? And if you're whoa standing right here, that is an important entrance, right? Let's then talk about how 
we're going to detail this up. Now, this is a theme park, so we're going to use more of the, uh, you know, a little bit of a flamboyant theme here, right? With palms and some of the trees that you might not normally use. Uh, this is very much outside of, of what of what Tasa Springs looks like, right? But it's just to, uh, you know, to call attention to itself. Now, of course, let me know in the comments uh, your name suggestions, as well as just general suggestions of what we can build in Tasa Springs. I don't, I don't think I say that enough. But let's get into building the first part of the theme park here. All right, so we'll start with a path here with decorations. All right, I think that should be all right, and I'm, I'm okay with the with this palm with the palm trees there. And then I think. And then we'll right here at the entrance on either side, we'll come out by a little bit. It'll be connected for now. We can avoid that by just dragging it out like so. But let's see if that gives us enough space for the plaza right here. It doesn't. So I think we'll do something else, actually. Let's remove that again. And we'll start by just having a big plaza right at the entrance. Okay, right as centralized as we can and that's going to look fantastic and then we can drag this back a little bit all right to you about there yes perfect and that should enable us to sort of square this off right will you yes cool and then there are we have these guys that's bring this road out a little bit. We don't need it right now. So these two can create sort of uh, half moons, if you will. So they can, we can also create circles with these, but I think for now we'll just do something like something like this. Let's, let's block these two corners off. I do like how, how they turn into normal pavement. Uh, in the uh, in the intersections or in the cross crosses right there, and that should give us enough room to come in with a path right here, and again, of course, to lock them off. Right, so theme parks are a, a tough nut to crack. I find these tilings are very flamboyant. Right, they're very loud, um, but also very. You know, they're themed. It's a very specific theme, all right? So this park wouldn't work anywhere else in the city. But I like the look of, of this, right? So we have these two on either side. And, and I think we'll do, we'll do something similar over here on this side. Let's see if it'll allow us to do so. Yes. And then one over here as well. Fantastic. And I wonder if we have the correct measurements now. Yes, we do, but not for that one. Cool. And that's going to be basically, for the most part, <laughs> you'll get water in a second. Basically, for the most part, that'll be the width of the park here, right? Because we will have the arterial road up here and, of course, the water down there, where here's some of the more important assets will, uh, will be. Now, out front of this, we do have a souvenir shop, which I think we'll place down centralized right there. And we also have the restrooms, which we could I think there's space enough on either side. If we drag these out like so, just to give us a little bit of space, let's do some landscaping here. So it wasn't necessarily where we wanted it. That's good. Go back into our Park paths here. And let's see if there's enough room for it's so satisfying. <laughs> so good. All right. That'll just give us, you know, a bit of a, a bit of an entrance here. And of course we can, you know, lock these off as well. Which, in my opinion at least, in, in the way I like to build theme parks, which to be honest, I don't have much experience in. Uh, it's always been a bit of a scary thing to build for me. But in my uh, limited experience in built in theme parks, I think surrounding 
at least these assets with paths really helps to to make them stand out. Let's let's give these guys some water. Oh man, the the piping in the city. Nope, nope. We'll uh we'll try and keep it as much as we can under the roads here. Yeah, that should be good. For the theme park, I'm not too worried about it. Let's just not look at it. Cool. And of course, on either side here, we can, you know, place some more of these uh, loud palm trees or coconut trees. What are these? Yeah, generic, generic date palm. Cool. We could even possibly upgrade some of these sections to uh, maybe on, on the side here, like this to run with the theme of the coconut. I think that's a little bit too much. Yeah, I, I do like the coconut tree better, right? Cool. And of course, we can also, if we scroll all the way to the end, we'll get these lights, which we can place in, you know, or some, some nighttime detailing, right? Well, let's take a look. Very nice. Very nice indeed. Very colorful. Now let's take a look at how we're doing. So we need entertainment level. We're there. Now we just need the visitors. And so far we have zero. So let's see. We can turn this into the main park for now. And we'll also do an advertisement campaign. We'll do night tours, celebrate, and even more fun. All right. That should call in some some visitors to this area and it is all hooked up so people should be able to get here so let's leave the game running on on three speed and then of course we do have the uh the little carousel we can put in as well and that should align quite perfectly right there right behind this yeah very nice very nice indeed let's clean this up a little bit we can put a park cafe outside you know, on either side here, right by the, uh, right by the path, as close to that as we can, like so, right? Super nice. And we'll leave this space for some, you know, some detailing. But then we'll just let it tick over until we get to level two. While we let that tick over to two stars, we'll take a look at some high density, some green cities, high density. All right. So we'll hook these two, we'll hook this up to this arterial vote out here as well, Dixon Street. We're just going to hook them up with a normal road here. And then let's see. And that's going to be weird about it. So let's take it from here. And I know that we want a space of three. All right. And I'm, we're just going to pull it to about here. <laughs> Not like that though, to about here. And then I think we'll make sure that, okay, it's this one. We'll make sure that we remember that we also want the tram to run in here. And then in here, we have a nice little opportunity for lower height, uh, high density residential that I'm that I'm looking at. Uh, and I think we won't do it right there because we can use we can use this road to sort of, you know, guide in where we want the buildings and we'll just leave a space every two tiles. All right, it's two by three, I believe that should do it. And and we'll zone in like so and so then we'll let the correct assets grow in and then we'll be right back oh and there you go all right we got the uh the two two level two stars the rotating teacups and the piggy train we'll, we'll swing back to that hold, hold that thought all right so someone died at the park can we ah oh, there you go perfect this is absolutely buzzing here and these these are getting some use all right which is nice to see so well, these are the two assets that I was talking about. Super cute, you know, uh, two by three, high residential. It's the green cities one. All right. So we do get a little bit of, you know, some awkward zoning back here, but it's okay. So let's just make sure that we are, that we are at the right uh, length here, which I believe is this one. And then on the back here, we can always add some paths, right? And up here, I want to do something similar. All right. Um, so I'll zone this out, wait for the correct assets to come in, of course, and then I'll swing back in a second. All right. And there we are just a little bit of a repeated pattern, right? Now these are residential, but we can always imagine that they're like 
hotels and so on and so forth. Uh, so I placed these roads in every three tiles just with only the ankle snapping on and jacked it up so it would connect to the arter arterial for pedestrians without actually connecting uh, to the traffic. I didn't want all those connections. So let's take a look at the assets we get here. And we get these rotating teacups, right? And we can keep in in line with, you know, the beginning of the theme park being all the smaller kitty stuff. We'll place this right here. And I think what would look nice is if we repeat this, um, these half moon patterns, right? So we'll place one on each side right here. Uh, it should be this one. There you go. And here as well. Something like that. And we can close off this behind. Let's measure out because I want another one of these teacups behind it. So let's see, that's 40. So from there should be 60. Okay. Well, well, that's that worked out. And then we can also square that off right there. So let's take a look at the other teacup and let's see if we can centralize this as much as possible. That's not perfect. All right. We'll, we'll keep it like that. That's very colorful on the back of that. I think the piggy train would fit, fit in nicely here. All right. So you go, you spin your brain and then you go and relax a little bit. All right. <laughs> and then of course, keeping in with this squared off theme that we are running in this theme park, we'll square it off here. We can, of course, look at our, uh, these tiles here. If we want to extend the, uh, if we want to extend the asset out a little bit, we can do that on either side here. Something like that. And maybe someone will sell some balloons there. We'll have a, another machine over here. And of course, in some of these open spaces, we'll, we'll keep in line with the, with the palm tree theme that we're running here, right? Which of course we'll come back to in the detailing time lapse. And I think that should give us enough entertainment. Oh yeah, by a lot. So we'll let that take over to 2,500 visitors. So we'll get to level three and then we'll be right back. All right. And we have reached three stars. So we get the swinging boat, the house of horrors and the bump course. Now let's, uh, yeah, see, that's, that's what I was worried about. This is quite noisy. It's that train station. So we'll have to, we'll have to think of something there for now, put the game down at three speed and at one speed, excuse me, no sort of figure it out. Now I'm going to keep going like this. So it's going to be a long sort of rectangle, rectangle, rectangular, rect the rectangle shape, uh, theme park. <laughs> and I want to make it so that in order to get to the roller coaster and the, uh, the last, the last, you know, the ones we'll get at five stars, which is, I believe this one. Yes. And okay. So this phallic one, the drop tower ride and these and these and and all of this. You'll have to go through the House of Horrors almost in order to get there. So for now, we'll take a look at the must be okay, park area. There you go. Cool. We'll take a look at the assets that we have gotten and it's these three. Yeah, you can you can be there. That's fine. Cool. So the swinging boat and bumper cars. I like bumper cars. I like him a lot. Um, so we can start by deleting this. That's a very, you know, specific looking asset. Uh, it does have its place though. Let's see what we can do with this. Let's take a path and we'll grab it as close to there as we can. And we'll, we'll bring it out to there. And then that should allow us to place this right here. Perfect. And then next to that, if you get a little bit uh, sick after swinging about, we can place down a little restroom for them here, a toilet right next to the, to the swinging boat. Cool. We can do the trick we did over by the, uh, by the spinning teacups or the, uh, the piggy piggy ride and just, you know, 
finish it off with a little bit of, of tiling. And then out front, in front of these, is where we'll put the bumper cars. Come here. Thank you. And that should centralize. Pretty nice. Cool. Now, in order to break the symmetrical grit here a little bit, I'm not going to box it in like the other ones. We'll leave, we'll leave a bit of space there. Then we can talk about having some game booths here as well, just to offset this a little bit, right? How is that? Nope. That tiling is not good. We need to remove this and put it back. Eh, it can come a little bit closer, in fact. How about there? Yeah, that's good. Cool. So there we are. Right now, we need the House of Horrors. Now, this is a very, very specific looking asset. And I know the roller coaster is going to be situated somewhat about here. So we're actually going to break out from this grid and start going diagonally in that general direction. So we'll close this off right there. Yeah, there. That's the direction we want to go. So then we'll start moving over like so. Let's grab our horror house here and we could potentially let's do that. Let's uh, yeah, we could come here. We'll push it off the path a little bit. Maybe even change this. Yeah, this will be better. I have an idea. We'll change that to the nature reserve with decorations like so. Let's change this around so we get the lights on the right side. Yes, perfect. Like so. And then we can grab the House of Horrors. And place it right in the center of this. Like so. Ooh, scary. Starting to think about what kind of detailing we want. I think these two needs to be the nature reserve path as well. Did that I could just disappear because it turned it into a nature reserve path. <laughs> well, you didn't need to disappear, but all right, cool. And while that is taking over to the next step, which is four stars, we'll start prepping for a little bit of nightlife down here. So we'll grab a road, just a little sticker right here, right? And with only the angle, we'll go as close to the key here as we can which is about yay close. And we get a little bit of awkward uh, terrain here, especially here at the end. So maybe we'll end it right there. But right here is perfect. It's perfectly fine, right? We can talk about having a little mini district down here. So we'll go with our smallest brush and, and we'll draw in just a small little district right here. We want to take the commercial specialization and we want to actually split this in two, come to think of it, because we want nightlife and let's delete that. So let's make two small districts, one here and one here. Cool. On one, we'll give it the, the, uh, the tourism specialization, which will give us hotels and such. And the other will give it the leisure. Uh, specialization. And so we have two names to uh, to give here. So let me know in the comments below what we should name these. And then here, we can just take the low density and sewn up this batch here and keep it keep it rather small. And as always, we'll wait for the right assets to come in and uh, we'll take a look at, at what it looks like at the end. And there we go. So, you know, some restaurants, cafes, uh, and some what do we have here? The laugh, the comedy club, and and things like that. And of course, we do have, you know, some empty space for for detailing, which we also will, you know, on the back of this. And we may we may uh, repair this a little bit because uh, it comes up. There's some awkward uh, terrain terrain manipulation there, and continue this over just a tad more, so we can possibly get some of the bigger hotels in right here. But we'll we'll take a look at that in the detailing time lapse where we'll use we'll use a bit of, of find it and plot the globals for that. But for now, 
this is looking not too bad, not too shabby at all. And of course, with the with these districts, we also get a little bit of color, which goes well with the uh, with the theme park, right? Super nice. Cool. So we'll let this go on three speed. And once we hit level four, which is in, in not too long, uh, we'll be right back. And there we are. We have reached level five. So we are now a five star theme park. Fantastic. As I was waiting, I was just playing around with a bit of a detailing palette. So in the entrance, we'll have uh, some, some jacaranda, I believe this tree is called, and some flower bushes, right? With a little bit of undergrowth, overgrowth, uh, depending on your mood. And, you know, we just copied that on the other side. And then we'll do the same on both sides here. So we extended this a little bit uh, with some extra tiles, some extra of these tables with the tree in it, and then plucked down some, some colorful trees. And here, place down a bunch of rocks with... Uh, with some rhododendron and some grass and some undergrowth just taken out of the rocks, just sort of completing these empty spaces that we have, right? Some of the empty spaces we will leave open. We certainly don't need to, to go this heavy on the detailing on every single open space. And then on the back here, which we'll, we'll continue this path over, uh, heavy undergrowth, right? There will also be an amusement park path, uh, right? Uh, not path, the fence up here. Then a little bit of an elevated zoo path, which we don't have a lot of in, in Tassa Springs, actually. But I, I felt it fit in quite nicely behind this this uh, nighttime. And maybe we can see some people using this as a sort of walkway uh, once it's connected up to the rest. This is a big one. All right, very tall. So let's make some space for these. I think maybe the pendulum would fit best if it's like, you know, close to the water. Yeah, let's make some space for these guys. So we'll take our landscaping tool on the biggest brush and we'll just push this back a little bit like so. All right, and then I think that should do it. Now we can place our, we'll take it out a little bit further so we can, yeah, to about here so that we can, you know, cover this in, in trees. On second thought, I do think I want it to swing this way. Yeah, yeah, let's let's remove it. And... Because it's going to be swinging like out over the water, which I can imagine would be both fun and, and not so much fun. <laughs> Possibly scary for some. So let's grab it and we'll place it yeah, here should be fine. A little off center. And then we can take our path here. Are you going to do weird things? No, nope, that's fine. Sort of corrected yourself. And then we can move this over as close as well to this path right here. Cool. And I think straight off on the corner right there, I think we'll take our, our drop tower and place it in right here, facing this way. All right, this is a gigantic asset, all right? Like, gigantic. Very nice. It's not too bad. I may want the pendulum, actually. Yeah, it's just thinking about the light and the, um, the direction. I'm going to re revert back to the original idea here. And take this all out actually just remove it now in the, it's this is mainly in the interest of having the height sort of crawling up instead of just kaboom so we'll take this we'll place it a bit closer to eh, actually we'll we'll place it here like so we'll box that in we'll just leave that path for there right now and then we'll take the big one and put it right here you know, we can come in with our usual, you know, half moons and, and what have you, right? To sort of decorate it up. But that should do good for now. So let's, let's box this in. And I think that we'll find this to be a more sort of gradual. Yeah, see, that's, that's 
far easier on the eye. And of course we'll have fireworks. All right. We'll have, uh, you know, more buildings behind and, and in here as well. Whoop. To sort of, you know, support this, right? Fantastic. Now I'm going to, you know, as always, just let this tick over. I think that should do us fine to take us to the next level or more than. So we'll let this tick over. And once we're at 10,000 visitors, we'll be right back. All right. And we have reached level five, five stars theme park. I was just, I was fixing some traffic issues while we, this was, this was clocking up a little bit. And I think we may need to get some better public transportation over here. Maybe some more buses or something, because many people are taking their cars, but we'll, we'll get to that. Level five means that we do get the roller coaster, which I kind of want to sit right here. So let's take a look at how big this is. It's quite a big one. Actually, we could potentially have it sit right here. And then with the Ferris wheel right here, let's see how that looks. So if we put this right there and then we come out of this and re remove this and that, and actually this one as well, cause the terrain on that was a bit odd. Then we can grab our terrain tool here and we'll just mold this out a little bit here to our need. Let's come back here and see, will you sit right here? If we move it sort of to about there, that should work well with the, with the skyline, right? Let's see. I don't mind that. I don't hate that, but I may want to, I may want to shuffle this around a little bit. So. Let's move this to about here and then this oh, way, this, <laughs> this big boy is going to move over a little bit. So it's, it's, it's creeping, it's creeping up. Right. So I think, I think we'll put that, uh, right here instead. Oh, not in park area. Well, you can be now. There you go. Then let's just make a little corner here. And this is, this is sort of going to mark the, the end of the, of the theme park, right? We'll have the entrance right there or should we stack it? Yes, we should. It should be placed here, right here. That's what I wanted to do, but with the entrance to the roller coaster there. Perfect. Some bumper cars. Do we have something a little bit bigger? No. Yes. Maybe so. Ooh. Ooh, so satisfying. Yes, that is exactly what we wanted. Perfect. That's the theme park. So like I was saying in the detailing time lapse, we'll fix this, this key. So it'll come around here uh, to make a sort of natural border, right? This road will come also around and then meet up with this, this up here, somewhere about not upgrade somewhere about here. Right. And then of course we'll not with that road. We'll, uh, we'll fix it up with fences and, and everything like that. And I think that's going to be where we're jumping into a detailing time lapse. So I'll see you afterwards.
All right, and we're done detailing, at least the theme park. Well, let's take a look at, at what we've done. So we have a little nightlife and whoa and uh, tourism district down here on both sides, uh, right here by the the big boy. <laughs> uh, this graveyard right here is just put in because these guys wanted some. And we have the um, the House of Horrors, right? Very hidden, very hidden inside, inside uh, very thick sort of undergrowth and uh, and a crocodile <laughs> and some some good trees, you know, some conifers, some two very big rocks just to give it a, a bit of an ominous entrance. And I love the fact that you can see the roller coaster there in the background. <laughs> I also did change this over to an office because they were complaining about the noise, which is I'll show you. It's disgusting right here. These guys are also complaining about the noise, so I may switch this over to an office as well in, in you know later down the line because that is just it's detrimental, the the train station. And of course the the theme park here is also not, you know, the quietest place to be. <laughs> Look at this elevated zoo path right here. So people are choosing to walk down the zoo path all the way to get over to here. Now they can't get into the theme park from there. It's all fenced off and not connected, but they can come down to uh, to this district right here. I also put in a big block of of uh, modern city center commercial. So it's a cor two corner assets. They're four by four, and then it's two no three two by fours. Um, yeah, commercials. And also we have two little apartments here, little apartment blocks, maybe you know made for Airbnbs and what have you. Little green belt behind it. Lots of lots, lots and lots of trees and lots of palm trees, you know, to to give this entrance the the kaboom that it needs, right? Very, very, very beautiful. I'm super satisfied with this. Now, if you look at it from above, you can really see that these tiles they they just they scream, right? But with you know some heavy detailing and and some some symmetrical, you know, layouts, it it turns really really pretty, and I'm I'm very happy with how this turns out. But thank you so much for watching and I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, leave a like on the video. Let me know in the comments below uh, your suggestions for what we should build next or where we should expand. And subscribe if you want to follow along on the journey of this beautiful, beautiful city of Tassa Springs. And now, enjoy the rest of your day, evening or night. See you next time. Bye-bye.